We would like to present to you the second place solution for RSNA intracranial hemorrhage detection. Our team was made up of Dimitri Larko, a senior data scientist who works on AutoML. Dimitri has a wide expertise in classical machine learning and deep learning. And Dara Hanley, an AI engineer at Optum, focused on deep learning to improve health outcomes. He also lectures at Berkeley MIDS program. The components of our proposed solution can be seen here. We, sh we shall go through these in order, as well as the hardware and the software of the solution. We would like to thank all the contributors to these open source software packages. For windowing, we looked at the, the DICOM files. We wanted to represent what a radiologist sees when he looks at these because the data was essentially tagged by radiologists and this is what the model wanted to learn. We use these windows such as brain, blood and soft tissue as channels within the image. Credits to David Tang and Appian for explaining to the community how windowing works for radiologists. We cropped and augmented the images as a regularization technique. We used the Albumentations library. First we cropped all black areas while keeping the aspect ratio of the image. We then used horizontal flip, shift scale rotate, transpose and normalized the images according to these means and standard deviations. For the image classification we used the ResNext 101 8D implementation from Facebook research. This is a very innovative trained model using Instagram labels from billions and billions of Instagram images where the user had tagged the image. The model would learn the tags. The model was then fine-tuned on ImageNet data. We took these pre-trained weights and fine-tuned it based on our training data in order to give predictions. We also noticed that the, the time dimension of the images taken as the scan moves over the head was quite important. Obviously at the start of the scan, not much conditions is seen in the images and similar at the end of the scan. Whereas once a condition is seen, it is highly likely in the next image taken from the scan that the same condition will be seen as the scan moves over the head. We want to represent the images within a sequential model. For this, we used the gap layer of the model, which is used prior to the activation and the prediction of a classification model. This is a representation from deep learning of a, a smaller representation from deep learning of the image, essentially an embedding layer. We stack these embedding layers within a sequential model, typically used for NLP, which was an LSTM. We also use dense layers. We use two of these and at the end we summed the LSTM, the dense layers and the embedding before adding the activation in order to make the sequenced prediction of labels. We also found it useful to add on to the embedding the difference between the current embedding and the next embedding to show how the image, how the scan has changed since the last scan was taken as the scanner moves over the head. Finally, we bagged our solution by training on three different folds from a five-fold split, each time predicting on the out-of-fold portion and the test portion. We used the out-of-fold predictions in order to measure our accuracy locally and then averaged the results of the test predictions as our final prediction. You can see here the breakout of our studies over train and test 
and those with conditions and no conditions. Our solution can be seen here. We are also building up a demonstration of our solution, which we hope to show at the conference in Chicago for RSNA 2019. Thank you for your time and hosting the solution, hosting the competition. We really enjoyed it.